As I've been playing around with Proxmox in my lab, I just want to go over the network device information. Some operating systems, such as Windows, will have the correct drivers already ready to go and installed. Others, when you select what would give you better performance, the problem you'll run into is the operating system might not have the right device drivers. I will show you how to update the network device driver to make that process much smoother for you. So let's get to it. For the purpose of the demo, I'm using Windows 2019. So the first driver we're gonna look at is the E1000E. Windows does have the correct driver built into the OS when you install it, so it's an easy option when you're setting up your VMs. There's another network driver type that will give you better performance. We'll discuss this later. So I'm gonna get on the console of this Windows 2019, and we're gonna go into PowerShell. The first command we're gonna issue is git dash network adapter. So in this case, we're looking at the link speed. In this case, we're showing one gigabit per second, which may or may not be the correct throughput you're looking for, depending on your underlying hardware. Now that we have our baseline, let's flip back over and change the network device. Select the device and click edit at the top. Then from the model, let's pick the drop down. In this case, we're gonna test out real tech. Your hardware may or may not have that network type. Click okay when you're done. And then let's flip back over to the console. Hit the up arrow or just type out git dash network adapter again. Looking at the link speed, you see 1.1 gigabits per second versus one from before. Next, we're gonna go ahead and rinse and repeat. This time, we're gonna select the vert IO para virtualized. Notice here that the network driver shows disconnected. This is because Windows does not have the correct network driver. So right click on the Windows icon and select device driver. Notice there are three devices with a warning icon. We're worried about the ethernet controller. Right click and select update driver. I'm gonna select browse my computer for driver software. I already know I have the ISO image mounted and so I'm gonna select the D drive in this case. So the ISO image you want to look for is the Vert IO Windows drivers. This could be from Red Hat, this could be a link from Proxmox. If you go to Google or whatever web browser and web page you want to look for, type in Vert IO drivers. You'll see three major links that come up. I'm gonna click on the first one with PBE Proxmox. About midway down, you'll see where it shows using the ISO, download either the latest stable or the most recent. If you wanna look at a list because you're looking for a certain driver version, in the middle here, you'll see the Fedora link. Click on that. So this will give you a list of folders and then inside there you can get the ISO file or whatever version you're trying to get. So that's the ISO that I have mounted. So instead of trying to find which particular folder I need, I'm just gonna tell it to search the entire D drive. If you're looking for the specific folder, it's netkvm. Click next and Windows will find the driver and update the ethernet controller device. It says it's Red Hat Vert IO. Click close, and now you'll see that we actually have a connection. Let's run the PowerShell command, get network adapter. One more time, you'll see it has a link speed of 10 gigabits. So this has the best performance of the three that we tested today. I hope this was helpful and informative, and thanks for watching.